Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a fantastic day. I was out uh, doing some caving, doing some mining, trying to get some resources. I've got uh, a couple stacks of iron and stuff like that that I've gathered up. And as I was about out and about caving, I came across what appears to be an abandoned mine shaft, and that is actually amazing because I need cobwebs. Uh, I have an idea for a build in the village, and I need cobwebs for it, and unfortunately, I don't have any whatsoever. Uh, in fact, I don't think I even have any back at the old world uh, from season one. I'm not sure. Either way, also, uh, it appears that we are in a uh, an extreme hills biome, because I'm seeing emeralds peppered around here, too, and there's tons of iron and stuff. This is actually, like, a great little cave. Um, Please stay away. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. So, tell you what. Let's just do one of these. We're gonna fill up this shulker box with all this useless junk that I don't really need right now. Grab my yellow shulker box. Grab that. Do one of those. Grab this coal. Make more torches. Lovely. Okay, and then we'll throw those back in here. Offhand. Okay, good to go. So yeah, I uh, I found a, a, an abandoned mine shaft. It appears. I'm also on the lookout for iron. Um, primarily iron, actually. Like gold and stuff is great as well. But uh, I'd like to get a beacon going, and you know, iron is kind of the the best option for that. I think. Um, just because, like, oh, and some free diamonds and stuff, too? Man, you're too good to me, game. You're too good to me. Hopefully, I can find my way back to that mine shaft. I should be able to, I would hope. Let's just make sure... Yeah, no lava down here. Okay. Look at that. Nine diamonds. Just like that. That is a beautiful thing. And... A ton of iron. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, that's fine. Get it? Patch the hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Okay. Excellent. Uh, let's... Oh, that was my inner chest. Torch. There we go. Much better. So, yeah. Good stuff. Now, I don't want to... I don't want to cave for this episode, but I did want to show you guys that I discovered this abandoned mine shaft and that I do indeed cave and actually get my resources, uh, because sometimes people seem to think that I don't. <laughs> um... And they ask, well, what do you, why do you, where do you get all the stuff? You never show it on camera. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I really don't. Not very often. Um, also, a lot of you, uh, well, I shouldn't say a lot of you. Uh, we've been, uh, the last few episodes have been very talky. We've had a lot of talky episodes uh, as of late in Kingdoms. And I'm, I want to change that today. I want to do some actual building. Um, talky episodes are great. I know a lot of people really enjoy them. I really enjoy making talky episodes. They might actually be my favorite type of episode to make. Um, but, uh, I, I don't want to just do talky episodes because I think part of the thing that makes talky episodes so cool is that they don't happen all that often. Is that they're, they're relatively, um, infrequent. So, I, I think when you do too many of them, they start to kind of lose their meaning. Plus, let's be honest, most of you uh, watch these videos because you want to see me build cool stuff, so don't worry. Talky episodes, they're not going away, of course, not forever, but uh, I, I, I do need to cut back a little bit on the number of talky episodes. And I, I do have to say, part of the reason there's been so many is because I have been feeling kind of uninspired lately um, in Minecraft. I've been kind of having trouble finding the the motivation to play Minecraft, and that's okay. You know, that happens occasionally from time to time. Please go away. Skeleton, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, I've been having difficulty kind of finding the motivation to play Minecraft, because, um, like, I don't know if this happens to you in this in this game, but sometimes I'll have ideas for, like, really big projects of some sort, and I'll, I'll know what I need to do, but I know that the amount of time that that thing is going to take me <laughs> uh, is a lot, and it, it just makes me want to, like, not do it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's that's something that I've been kind of dealing with as well, but that's okay. Anyway, I want to find that abandoned mine shaft again. Uh, I know it's around somewhere. Hello, creepers. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming, but 
Oh well, that's fine. But I don't want to lose all this lovely iron and stuff either. There's so much. We've I've found like four or five stacks of iron just on this one little caving expedition. That's not that. Ah, 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 ah. Can't get up here, can ya? That's all right. I can get to you. Oh, you lit me on fire. Well, that's not very nice. Okay, here it is. I, f I, I found it. It took me a minute. Probably longer than it should have. But I did find it. Go away. And this is uh, a dead end. Okay, either way, what we're gonna do... I've got a little bit of iron in here. Let's make ourselves a shears. And I want to explore this uh, mine shaft with these shears and get all the cobwebs that I possibly can. Because uh, I need a ton of them for... Well, I, I shouldn't say I need a ton of them, but I need some of them for a project that I want to work on today. And uh, additionally, uh, if I want them in the future, I don't really want to have to try and find an, uh, another abandoned mine shaft because I will probably never find this place again. Who knows where it is? It's somewhere. Um, but it's going to be difficult to locate in the future. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this abandoned mine shaft, grab all the ores and spider webs and all that stuff that I can find. Ooh, treasure chest. What do we got? Some gold, some iron, a golden apple. Eh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. And you know what? We'll break that and take that with us as well. But yeah, I'm going to run through. I'm going to grab all of the cobwebs, all of the ores, all that kind of good stuff that I can find here. And I'll come back to you uh, when I am back home, and I'll show you what all we got. All right, guys, I am back, and I have put away a lot of the kind of random stuff that you find, you know, the cobblestone, the random name tags, this fortune book, stuff like that. But here is the goodies. Here are the goodies. Here are the goodies <laughs> that I found uh, that are actually relevant. So we got a ton of iron, a bunch of coal, uh, about three and a half stacks of cobwebs, couple diamonds, not too shabby, not too bad at all. Um, pretty good haul altogether, and the cobwebs are something that I'm excited about because we didn't have a single, we, we had no cobwebs. Uh, now, this is how many stacks of iron we need, roughly, uh, to make uh, a beacon, so, uh, or a, a full haste to beacon although i think we still need the wither skeleton heads i don't think i've found those yet either uh so i'll have to do that as well um but all in all that was a very productive caving trip for sure so i want to make a crane that would be used essentially for like lifting stuff up off the docks right so they don't have to carry it up these steps uh i'm thinking that's gonna go like right here and then over here, I want to have like a little area where they're storing some of the things that come off the docks, you know, temporarily is what I'm thinking. So let's start with the crane, I think. And let's make some of these. And a few of these. Yeah, that should be good. And I think we'll put it, like, right here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And we'll make, like, a little five by five base. And then we'll fill that bit in. We'll put this here. We'll go boop, 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 like so. And that will kind of be the base of our crane something like this right so the crane's gonna essentially sit on top of this i th think maybe maybe it would be better if this was spruce um let's leave it as oak for now and if we want to swap it out for spruce later we can uh because i know the majority of the crane i do actually want to be spruce so we'll grab some of this we'll grab some of that and that should be a good start i don't need this bucket right now but i'll need it later uh and give me those as well okay 
So, or actually, you know what we should do? We'll do we'll do something like this. We'll keep this fairly low to the ground, right? And then I think we'll build it off of maybe like a cobblestone wall that's right here. So the whole crane will basically sit on top of this. And we'll go like here, here, here. Um, maybe something like that. Okay. And then what we'll want to do oh, is I'm thinking like here. We'll go one. Oh, man. Can I, can I please place this stuff where I want? One, two, here. Here, one, two, there. And like so. And it basically, we'll bring that out uh, probably a bit, a bit farther than this, ultimately. But it's going to kind of come out like that and give us sort of a sort of a angled shape, right? And I think that will actually look pretty good. I think I want it to come out maybe like two more of these. Yeah, like about there. And that's going to be really high, but... Eh, it doesn't look too bad. I think that's doable. I think that's doable. Yeah, or maybe... Hmm. Let's tone that back by one. So we'll go... Let's see. Get rid of that. And that one, and that one, and this guy. Okay. So the, the crane will end up being right about here-ish. Uh, yeah, I think that will be okay. Maybe. Maybe go here. I think that'll be fine. Okay. Then let's grab a cobblestone wall. And we'll throw that guy right here. Ooh. This may not come down far enough. Because it... <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> let's, do, let's do this. Let's make... A few of those. Do some of that. Let's see if maybe we can make this work. I don't know if this is going to look good or not, but... We'll maybe go, like, here? Oh, man. I don't know. Because we need it to be on a platform... Ah, I'm not liking that very much. I was thinking I would like this a lot more. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's break most of these. And maybe we go here with a log and then kind of bring it out. Ew, that's going to be... Yeah, that's that's way too big. Um, man. Maybe we'll just make a platform like this. Right? How's that feel? That feels... Way too small for this crane. That's, that's not going to work. Um... Okay. Tell you what, let's let's try bringing it out one more. Just to see. Because if it comes out a little bit more, that might be enough. Right? Let's try. Let's try this. Uh, I mean, we gotta, we have to experiment a little bit and see what we can come up with. 
So we went here, 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 and then this one will go here, okay? And then we'll want a wall right there. And that, yeah, that, that should give us enough height, I think. Uh, so let's just kind of go up and like so. And then here. Down one more. And then we can kind of start bringing it. Like so. Yeah, that's a little better. And then maybe we'll just bring it straight out. Oh, can I reach that? Yep. Barely, but I can. And it'll be like this fairly large platform, right? It'll be like this big. And that I think will work. And then we'll go like so. Here, here. And I want to give it kind of like a rounded shape. I don't want it to be a perfect square, but I want it to be kind of rounded. Ooh, except then you can't get down. Ah, man. I mean, you can get down right here, but that's still... Ah, and now, tell you what, let's look at it from over here. What do we think? Size-wise, that feels good. Um, you know what we could do? Here's what we could do. Easy fix. Very easy fix. We'll bring the oak fences up one more to here. And the idea is that, like, pretend that these are like ropes, right? Um, although I think it would actually look better if we did something like this. Get rid of these. And then essentially we're basically just raising this whole thing by one block and that will fix our problem where we can't go underneath it. So this should be, well, we're gonna lose a little bit of spruce plank, or a little, uh, a couple spruce slabs, but whatever, that's fine. Um, yeah, 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 this should be better. So here, here, there, and then it kind of comes back around like so. And then here, here, here. Um, and then we just fill this in. There we go. Yeah, that seems better. Okay, so we got like this crane here. And I think that's pretty good. Okay, tell you what, let me go ahead and uh, finish up the crane. And I'll be back with you in just a sec. All right, guys, I am back and the crane is done. I think it looks good, actually. We got, uh, basically I took the shape of the crane that we had and then I added like this dark oak slab uh, kind of highlight going around the edges uh, to add a little bit of depth to it, give it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more structure and a little bit more, um, I don't know, make it feel a little bit more heavy duty, I guess would be the way to say it. And then I added a, like a, a wheel here or a gear, I guess you would say, uh, that would be like a crank that would get pulled to, you know, maybe move the crane back and forth and raise and lower the platform and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is I want to add uh, a bunch of different things that would be hauled, right? So um, a couple things we're going to do here. Uh, first of all, you know what? I, I actually really just want one more water bucket to save myself a little bit of time. So let's just go like so. There we go. That'll make things a little bit easier on me. So first of all, uh, in my texture pack that I use, um, we have the ability to make crates, right? Uh, redstone. And 
if we do this, this gives us a note block, which in my texture pack is textured like a crate. So if you right click, it'll do that. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to get uh, maybe like where, oh man, I'm trying to think where the best place to do this would be. Probably here, 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 and there. So we'll make like a little barrel, right? And then maybe we'll do one more. I mean, right here would be a great spot, but it won't work because <laughs> of this uh, thing here. So let's maybe go a crate. Oh, and we can't do that either because it's going to connect to the... Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, and I don't have any more spruce slabs. Okay, tell you what. Do that. Let's kind of jump up. Put the slab... Oh, the fence is in my way. I can barely reach it. There we go. Maybe we do something like that. And then maybe we do like one more crate here and one more barrel here oh except that's not gonna work ah because of this trap door hmm put another crate here and then we can put a barrel. Oh man, that's gonna be hard to place. That's all right, we can do it. Um, here, here, here. We've done it. Okay, there we go. So basically we're trying to give the appearance that there's actually some cargo up there that's being lifted, right? And you can kind of see that and I think that looks pretty good. We could also, you know, do some chests or something like that. Like if we if we want to take some spruce, uh, you know, make a couple of chests. Uh, maybe we grab some logs temporarily for a minute just so we can get back up here. Maybe we put like a chest, I don't know, here. And maybe one like right there. Right? Just a, just a couple to kind of have them up there as... You know, being to, to show that they're being lifted up above uh, on the crate. So this is for cargo, right? And then over here, we're going to do kind of the same thing. Uh, so the barrels, remember that this is a fishing village. So the reason that the, the barrels are filled with water is because they're I'm, I'm trying to make them represent uh, barrels of fish that have been caught. So we'll go here. Maybe we do a barrel here. Maybe we do a barrel uh, here, right? Like so. And then can I squeeze one more in right here? No, I can't. Uh, let's see. Can't squeeze. Man, this is going to be kind of tough. Um, tell you what, let's grab our water back. All right, we'll do that. This one will go here. And then let's try and do one right here. Yeah, there we go. That way they're kind of spread out. Okay, awesome. Um, and actually, you know what? I have a bed. We will sleep on the bed right here. Ta-da! Beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of this, right? The other thing, you know, we'll do a couple more crates as well, I think, just to kind of fill in some of these gaps where we can. There's not really a whole lot of open spaces. Zombie, please. Just, just don't. <laughs> You have no chance of surviving that. Uh, you know, we'll we'll work in a couple... Zombie. Didn't you just see your friend get killed? 
Like, can you not? Uh, you know, we'll work in a couple crates and stuff uh, throughout this little area. Uh, we can we can do the same with chests, right? Maybe we put a chest here and maybe a crate uh, here and, you know, so on and so forth. Stuff like this, right? Then the other thing that I want to do, we'll grab some of these cobwebs. And I want to make uh, essentially an area where they would be, like, drying out the nets. So let's maybe go three high. Right? I'm going to put that one right there. We'll break this guy. And then we'll go one, two... One, two, three. Bring that across. And go like that. Okay, so you got like this little thing here. And we can go like so. And those are supposed to represent fishing nets, right? So the, the fishing nets are here. And they're basically being hung up to uh, to dry out. Which I think is kind of a cool idea. Um, so we'll go three. Uh, one more just so we can kind of build off of it like so break that guy one do 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 and boop, boop, boop. and maybe this one we kind of bring down oh uh, well hmm, that doesn't look very good maybe we'll just kind of leave it like that yeah that could be kind of cool so we'll have these uh, these fishing nets kind of draped here, and then we could potentially do hell. Hmm. I don't know if I could work out a good looking. Well, you know what? It's okay if there's a little water dripping off that. I think that's fine. It has kind of a cool effect, actually. <laughs> I think I'm okay with it. Um, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll just you know, kind of add some things to sort of decorate this out and. Make this look uh, a lot more interesting than just the plain old, uh, you know, area that we had over here before. So let me do some more work on this, guys, and I'll be back. All right, guys, I am back, and I think it's all finished up. I think we're good. So we got the uh, the crane done, and then this area over here, uh, I added uh, a couple more crates and stuff. I also decided to add some down here on the uh, on the piers on the docks themselves, and a few in the boat too. Uh, but all in all, I'm I'm quite happy with it. I think it looks pretty good, and it's certainly an improvement over how this looked before, where all of this space was just empty and there was no detail. Uh, I think we could still probably work something in right here. It would be great if we could find some way to get uh, something colorful in here, but... I have to think about that one. Uh, I do want to jump into the comment of the day, and today's comment is from Big Guy, who says... You always build in a general style of fantasy or medieval. What was your inspiration for choosing that style, or why do you love it so much? Uh, and that is actually a very good question, because I do most of the vast majority of what I build uh, or have built over the years is kind of rustic medieval fantasy-esque in nature. And there's a few... Uh, actually, I keep my books over here. Uh, there's a few reasons for that. Um, it is the, the, the style that I'm the most comfortable in, for sure. So it's partly like a comfort zone factor. And, you know, that's I probably should build in other styles more often. But this is certainly the style that I feel the most comfortable in. I don't... Uh, I, I, I can I can build stuff like this all day long <laughs> with that. I mean, I don't, I don't even really have to think about it uh, kind of as evidenced by the last couple talkie episodes where I was just randomly building and talking at the same time uh, without really thinking too much about these houses. And they still turned out just fine. Um, so part of it's the fact that uh, this kind of medieval esque style is is that's my comfort zone. Um but I think the biggest reason that I build in this style most often, because it's not just in Kingdoms, it's in all of my series, uh, is because Minecraft itself, I think, most lends itself to this style. Um, up until very recently, uh, there really haven't been any blocks, for the most part, that really lent themselves to modern uh, now that we have concrete, it's better, but it's still not great. 
Um, I mean, a lot of the blocks in Minecraft just are very, uh, very kind of rustic medieval in nature. Uh, it's just, that's it, kind of the, the way that I see the game, um, you know, with all the wood and the cobblestone and the stone bricks and, and stuff like that. There just really isn't, uh, I mean, with the addition of, with, uh, with the addition of concrete in 1.12, uh, it's certainly better, uh, than it was. But when I started playing Minecraft, there really was not much for blocks that lent themselves to modern. And even still, there's really no, it, it certainly is a game uh, with a block palette that definitely uh, works better for this kind of fantasy medieval rustic style uh, as opposed to like modern or, um, you know, anything. And when I say modern, I don't necessarily mean modern in the in the sense of like what we would think of if I were to call things a modern house, but I mean, I mean, I mean more like modern day, right? Like uh, suburban houses and beach houses and stuff like that. Like Minecraft just doesn't really lend itself to that. Think about, uh, think about like fences and walls, for example, right? In this game, we have cobblestone walls and wooden fences and then a nether brick fence, but none of those are really modern at all. Like you wouldn't really see a, uh, a cobblestone wall <laughs> uh, for the most part in modern stuff. Um, you know, just a lot of the textures and things uh, lend itself better to that kind of fantasy medieval style. And I think that's that's a huge part of the reason why I build in this style more often, because I think it works better for Minecraft. Uh, and then the other thing, too, is that since it does uh, lend itself better, uh, since Minecraft lends itself better to that fantasy medieval style, um, that's kind of where I ended up going and then it kind of became my thing and that's like what I'm quote unquote good at. Uh, now that's not to say that I've never built in other, uh, styles. You know, I have done modern houses. I have done suburban houses. I have built things that, uh, are futuristic or, or whatever, but, um, not in this world and kingdoms, uh, since we come up with a story for the world and since we have a lore for the world, I don't want to compromise that by going into some sort of a style that's like modern day. I think it would ruin the, um, the, what's the word that I'm looking for? It would ruin the integrity of the world, I guess is, is how I would say it. It, it would feel very out of place to have like a, a futuristic or a, a modern day area in kingdoms, which is a world that's, you know, fantasy and medieval in nature. So um, I, I don't think we'll ever have modern houses or futuristic, how uh, a futuristic, you know, any of that kind of stuff, no science fiction, no modern day stuff in kingdoms. I think the latest that I would go like time period wise would be like, maybe very early industrial revolution. I think that would be like the the absolute earliest that I would go um, uh, or the absolute latest I would go history wise. But uh, but yeah, that's that's the that's the short answer. I could go on about it forever and ever, but uh, we are very much out of time for this episode. So, guys, I am going to have to call this one right here. My friends, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.